In the early 1990s, Beaconland School established three outdoor classrooms, fulfilling a desire to have permanent outdoor bases for teachers and pupils. The aim of the teaching is to give pupils a better insight into, and understanding of, the different processes in nature, and to teach them the relevance and importance of various insects in ecological interaction. The pupils show enormous enthusiasm when they're catching water insects. Every now and again, one of them falls in. But there's always at least one adult close at hand, so help is never far away. Here's one who was just in long enough to get wet. All the outdoor classrooms are near small lakes, as the school wanted to focus on freshwater life and they're within walking distance of the school. There are quite a few birch trees in the area. In the spring, we collect sap from them, which is then boiled to syrup. This process is a part of our teaching about photosynthesis. Bog myrtle grows in the marsh, and this has a lovely aroma. Here's a pupil holding a dragonfly nymph in his hand. Later that day, we found a newly hatched dragonfly beside its shell. Every spring sees each class out catching insects with nets. One teacher has been given responsibility for both planning and executing outdoor learning. We use reinforced nets that can tackle rough treatment. Lunch is taken outdoors. We eat together and can hopefully enjoy the sound of birds singing in the background. Ska vara med oss samma dag. Vi kan checka ut och så vi ser ut. Här är samma dag. Bara bara den. Some pupils have found a water spider. As the name suggests, it spins its web in the water. It is easily recognized by the air bubble encompassing it when diving. The first small lake lies within a 10 minute walk from school. It buzzes with life. We usually bring the youngest pupils here and this is where tadpoles live dangerously. He accompanies each class along with the class tutor and is both mentor and assistant during the catching and identifying of the insects. The outdoor classroom consists of four wooden benches forming a square with a fireplace in the centre. The benches were originally made of pine, but have been replaced by oak. In addition to a large variety of insects, toads, small salamanders and doctor fish are occasionally caught. In spring, one of the small lakes is full of tadpoles. So the challenge is not catching them, but not catching too many. As you can see, several interesting insects are found. Here, the mayfly builds its house of tiny twigs and grass. In the nearby stream, you can find a species that builds its house of sand. This class sings before eating. They thank the earth and the sun. Dear earth and dear sun, thank you for the food on our table. Marshland surrounds two of the small lakes. So in an attempt to minimise damage and create easier access, planks have been laid out. The pupils have to try to identify what they've caught using a species chart. For some of them, it can be a big challenge transferring their catch from the net to the white plastic water tanks. The new benches are in place. They're made of oak trunks split down the middle. Time for the first year pupils to eat by the nearest small lake. 